Hi everybody, it's Lisa from Lisa P. Crafts and I am here to do my October 30th to November 5th weekly spread in my Happy Planner Vertical. And obviously October 31st is Halloween, but November 5th is my birthday. So last year I had the same issue. And I did a Halloween spread here and a birthday spread here. And I combined the colors so that it looked like one spread. This year, I don't think I want to do that. I am going to do a trick-or-treater spread. And what I have from Kane Company, they call these layered accents. I got them at Dollarama, which is a dollar store here in Canada. And I got them probably, I don't know, four, five, six years ago even. And what they are is foam. They call them layered because there's pieces, but they're like 3D. So they have foam tape on them. So what I do, I've used the same idea before, is I take the foam tape off. So just... Some of them comes off really easy. Others pulls the paper. And what you want to make sure, though, is if it is pulling the paper, that it doesn't rip the edge edges off of your paper. So I literally get in here and I use, I have long nails, obviously, again. And I just... Start on one end and then I come around to the other side to make sure that I don't uh, rip the paper too much. And then I just take, put it flat on the ground and I just peel up these thicker foam pieces. And wow, this one's actually coming off somewhat easy compared to other ones. So now this is a flat piece. And this is a flat piece. So now we'll just get some of this off of here so it's not too, too lumpy. Okay, and then I just glue them back together. It, I like it because it still gives it a little bit of dimension, but not that thickness that you, you definitely don't want. Oh, and I always use this Tombow aqua mono liquid glue it has a pen tip on one end and a broad tip on the other again something I've had for years I don't even know where I got it from and I use it all the time but yet it doesn't seem to be emptying so I probably have it for another 20 years yet okay so then you just take your little face you put it back on the background there and then one thing about using the glue is that you can move it around a little compared to using tape so it can move it around and get it set up perfectly then just squish it down and now i have a flat sticker it's not a sticker anymore and it still has that little bit of dimension which is really cute Okay, the other thing I have is I found this paper house in one of the books that a friend had sent me. I guess she had printed it off and just stuck it in the book. So I went and opened the book and it fell out. But it was so cute. I had to use it. And I've looked, like I've tried to see if it's sticker. I don't think it's sticker. I think it's just paper. But what I did to give it... A little bit more dimension I don't know how close I can get that you can actually see it but I took some black textured cardstock and I cut out the little pieces and added it to the roof just to give it a little bit more and so I'm gonna be using that over here now what I want so that I have some trick-or-treaters in from that box and they're, they're bigger than the house. So I'm gonna put the house up on a hill. So this is textured cardstock. I don't know if you're even gonna be able to see it. It just, 
it has like little lines in it. So this is gonna go on here. So I cut that piece out and then this was a 12 inch piece. So it doesn't go all the way across. So then I just cut a second piece out and matched it up. So that's what I've got. And then I didn't, I haven't put tape all the way on it. I put like one piece of tape across just to hold it in place while I'm working and trying to figure out where I want everything. But so I'm going to put the house up in there and then I don't know. I'm kind of thinking I want the house at a kind of a bit of a funny angle. Yeah, I think I like that. Okay, now should I start gluing things down right away? Oh, no, I have, I have this washi tape. It's gray and it, to me, it kind of looks like a um, pathway, I guess. So I was kind of thinking, should I add it on to here so that it looks like there's a pathway going up? Like I could just kind of go I think I like it. Yes, I do like it. So I'm going to do that. Now this is going to take some finessing because it's the tape is straight and my hill is curved. And I want the tape. I think I'm going to have the pathway coming all the way down here. So maybe, well, mind you, I could put the pathway lower on here and then just cut it smaller. Okay, got to think about this one now. So, or do I just piece it together? Okay, so first of all, it's going to have to come at an angle there. Kinda am bending it a little bit to see exactly what I can do here. Okay, so then that would come like that. And then it would go across like this. So can I just kinda flatten this out? and leave it wrinkly? Yes, I can. Awesome. I didn't know if I would be able to do this. Okay, so from here though, I want, hmm, maybe from here I just cut it and let's see what we can do. Okay, so there is little wrinkling. I'm not sure how much you can see that. So I'm just going to use my nail, just push it down. Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay. And now let's cut this piece off here and see about maybe coming just through here. Uh, no, you know what? I don't want it. I may have to fiddle around with this over here a bit more because I don't want it to be as thick down here. Nope. Okay. Let's see. How far do I want it here? Let's just put it on. That's where I want it. I still want to see the roly poly hill. Okay. Actually, let's put my scissors right here. <laughs> yeah, that did not go the way it was supposed to go. Okay. So I know what I'm going to do. First of all, I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to cut this off here so we can get a real look at what this looks like. OK, 
Okay, I may trim that down a little bit still too. Let's just see here. So the idea with having the haunted house up on the hill is to make it look like the trick-or-treaters are close and the house is in the background. So I could easily just carve this out a little bit. So that it looks like the pathway gets smaller as you go up. Okay, I'm just trying to get the curve, a little bit of the curve going here of the hill. I like that. I could go a little, a little bit smaller yet in here. Okay, I got my pathway done. So now what I'm going to do is tape everything in. And so what I did here for placement. I took just a regular pen and I drew the line where the house is supposed to go. Otherwise, I would be fighting to figure out where it was. And you're not gonna see that line because it's going to be underneath the hill. Okay, so just put this back on, on the line. I already got tape all on the back of this one. Put it back on. Okay, and then this one here. I only had that one little piece, so oh, upside down. Need to add some more. I have no idea where this little tape roller came from, but I'm using it because it was sitting here. Okay. And then this is going to go down here. Like so. Okay, let's add our little men in. Okay, so the one thing I did do was punch the holes out. Uh, using my... We are memory keepers hole punch. Pretty basic. Put the, oh, <laughs> as I say that, you just line up the hole and you punch. Because I didn't want to be placing my guys on top of the hole. Okay, so I have a little ghostly. Not sure what's going on with this. I'm not having a good thing here with tape dispensers. Why are you all, are you about to die on me too? Is that why you're doing this? Well, I got that on anyways. So the ghosty, he is gonna be going here, like he's climbing up the hill. And then we're gonna put Frank with him. Okay, I must be losing or at the end of the tape. Okay, and Frank is gonna go with him up here. So they are already climbing the hill. Then I am going to put Dracula, the blue monster guy, and then the little witchy. 
Okay, so I have all these candy pieces, which I've already flattened out. I took all the foam tape off and I found a little bat and I think the little bat would be cute up here. Yes, he is. He's adorable up there. So I was thinking, what if we just kind of put the candy all across the top? I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I found this I Love Candy and I thought, let's pull some of the black up into this corner. So let's lay this out and then tape it on. I did pull these. I don't know that they would work though. These are stickers. Ooh, because of the black in them. Oh, I kind of like them with the black. So if I took those out and put, like if I did this instead. I think I like that better. Okay, so one there. Oh boy, these are obviously fairly old because they are not coming off. These were sticko stickers and they do not want to come off very good. Okay, so I'll put one there. I'll put one here. So those are stickers. I am probably going to have to use my undo if I wanted to move them. So let's try not to move them. Maybe one more up in here. Take this one out. That breaks up all that orange over there. Orange and yellow over there. So where can I get another one in? If I bring this down Turn this one this way. I can get another one in there. Okay, so let's put one up in here. Okay, so I think I've got them in place. I may change these out to these ones yet, but I'm gonna put down these big ones first. Okay, so I got all the candy on and the tape wasn't really working, especially for like the sticks. So I glued them on. So you will all be very happy to know I can't move them. They have to stay that way. <laughs> so I'm looking at boxes and I have pulled out Mojo Jojo Plans Autumn Boxes 2.0. It, and it has every color in here that I need. It's got the green, the blue, it's got a orange foil, uh, I'm looking at the red and then it's got the purple, black and orange. So I was looking at this and I was thinking if I put in the blue, green, the orange, they're all, everything's just going to blend in together. So I'm thinking that maybe I either need to do like all black boxes here and different colored boxes here, or I pulled the orange foil and the red one. There is a little tiny bit of red in these guys. So I was thinking, what is this going to look like? The red foil I, or the red isn't too bad. See here, you can see with the orange foil, like it, it blends in. So I almost need a color that's not going to blend in. Okay, so I am thinking of trying something else even. I pulled out my Happy Planner Colorful Shapes book and I'm thinking silver. And I'm thinking hexagons. Yes, I believe they're hexagons. So I have pulled a few off. Now the only th issue is some of these have dots and um, and that is really annoying, but I am thinking of 
here. It'll do like one big one and then just doing maybe two small ones together. And then, see they look good on the black, of course, but how are they gonna look over here? So Sunday is my birthday. So I think, I think I'm actually gonna bring, nope, I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm doing here. Okay, I'm just gonna put it there for now because I'm not sure how I wanna do that one. And then we will do like, one, two, and actually I'm okay with this not lining up so good, actually. So I think I'm gonna put that up a little higher and I'm gonna bring this one down a bit. And it is really crooked. Cause they don't, I don't think I need them to line up. Oop. Okay, so then, and I don't think I need them to overlap either. So now, Let's just put it right, let's put it right on the line. Oh, and let's, no, we're gonna line, we're gonna center it on the line. So if it goes over here, it's okay. okay. My idea though, because I don't have one on Wednesday, I was thinking one here on Wednesday, but I don't know that I really like that. So I could just bring one in like this, there. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then my birthday on Sunday. This one's cute. No tricks, just treats. So that one could definitely fit over there. And then this one is trick or treat, which maybe I would put this one in like here somewhere. Like I don't wanna put much in here like i always decorate and overdo so i don't really want to decorate and overdo maybe i don't even put that in there okay so i'm kind of looking at the candy and i'm thinking i need a line to separate it from the rest so i have some skinny dollar tree uh washi tape <laughs> And I was kind of looking at the gray. Where let's just get But I'm not sure. Like I do have other colors. I have I found this blue and purple one. Hmm, maybe the blue and purple one. Let's see. I do have to move the, this one box down a little bit. Put this on. Let's see the blue and purple. I think I like the blue and purple. Okay, so what I need to do is move some of these boxes down just a little bit. Just because if I'm going to put that, that's crooked. If I am going to put that washi tape up there. Okay, so I moved these boxes down a bit so I could get the washi tape in here. And I'm just going to, whoop, I'm going to go underneath the line because I kept all the candies inside. You know what, why am I doing that? Let's just, like seriously, saving myself a little tiny piece. 
of washi. How crazy is that, eh? <laughs> I'll just cut it off. So what do we think of this one? Okay, so over here, I feel like I was missing something. So I actually have this little rat tape and I can technically cut them apart. So I was thinking I might cut a rat or two and put it over here. I thought about putting the whole piece, but it doesn't some of them are floating in the sky, so that doesn't work. Okay, I cannot believe I cut those out. <laughs> they are small. Okay, so I'm just going to add them in like this. Wondering if I put maybe one or just something little, hey? Wouldn't that be cute? Just put a little one. Let's here. Let's put it in this one here. No, that's my birthday. I don't want rats for my birthday. Put this one in here, and we'll put this one right down in here. There or there? There. <laughs> They're cute. Added in the little rats. I forgot I had these. Sticko stickers. So these are actually a little bit thicker. Under or over. I could look it over better. Okay, so I'm going to put that one there. I think so. It's my birthday and I wanted the kitty cat. I forgot. I could put the kitty cat right at the end here, I guess. You can hear mine meowing in the background. He's either trying to go outside or he's hungry. You know what? Let me move this down. I want the kitty cat in there. So let's move this one down. Okay, so I'm going to place the cat down here so I can see where he needs to stand. So, oh, he's bigger than my box. But that's okay. I want my kitty cat for my birthday. Actually, I... Yeah, that's funny I should say that because I was just telling my husband that I, I saw a post on Facebook. It's called uh, Craig Street Cats. That's the cat rescue place where we usually get our cats from. And uh, they have gotten in kittens like Neonato kittens, I guess is what you would call them. So they have to be like hand filled, hand filled, hand fed. And I was just telling my husband that I'd love to foster some kitties, but he won't let me because I end up keeping them all. That's what he thinks. And he's probably right. Yeah, he's right. I would. I'd end up keeping all of them. Four cats is enough, he says. I was technically only supposed to have three cats. But my twins, I call them the twins, they came from the same mom and the same litter. How do you pick one of one, the gr little girl and the little boy? How do you pick one over then the other? Couldn't do it, so I got both. <laughs> okay, so that is my little kid cat for my birthday. I'll pretend I got a kitty cat for my birthday. I lost it. Oh, here it is. There was this little 
sign here that I thought would go good in there. So let's just, I may not even, oh, okay, so here we go. Here's a tough one to get off. Ooh. So I have to be very careful as to not rip the bottom paper. Okay, so see that ripped there. So now I have to be very careful to, uh, there, not rip that. Now see here, I can usually get these off pretty easily. Oh, nope. Oh, that's no good. Don't wrinkle the paper up. Oh, this is a real hard one to get off. Okay. And then there's the back. The sticky part. Or the sticky part cover. Even this one. These ones have been coming off super easy. And this one's not even coming off that easy. Okay. Let's put... Glue on the back of this one. And the paper came up on here. Did it go... Where is it? And there it is. I'm just going to put glue under it. I mean, normally I could just rip that little bit off, but I'm just going to put glue, okay, and then put this guy back on there. And he's going to go in that corner, so I'm just going to glue him on, and then you know what? I can't change my mind. <laughs> I like how I, now I kind of have the blue kind of going all the way around. I do like the little rats or, that are in the boxes. They are cute. I feel like maybe one more over here. Okay, so I want to do something for my birthday. So I took 11 seasonal books and I split them up to spring, summer, fall, winter. And then I have a fifth book that said birthday and holiday words. So it's got like all this birthday stuff in it. So I came across these hats. Now, what if I put a birthday hat on my kitty cat? It and it has to go over. I can take the washi tape out from underneath it. I might be able to wipe that out a bit. Let's see. Where's my pen? Um, got the 10 and the 8. So let's just see if this will work. I can't move the candy sticker because it's... It's glued in there. Oh, right. I left the lid off that one. Let's just try the eight. That's a bit better. Just so it's not quite as blue. Okay, it's working. It's just not coming. There we go. Just get some of this off. That's better. Okay, now the washi tape. I think it's cute. And it kind of goes if you think about it. They are... Everybody's dressed up, so the fact that the cat has a party hat on, which we could just... Oh man, that's not even sticking. Why is that not sticking? We could just say it's a clown hat. He's dressed up as a clown. Couldn't we? Okay. 
Okay, so I do need to put this line back on here. Like really, you have to be so difficult, you couldn't have just stuck to the paper. Ay, ay, ay. Or do I have to? Yeah, I kind of have to, I think. Okay, I just need a little bit more in here. That's not too bad. And then I thought there's balloons here. I was thinking, what if I make it look like she's kind of holding the balloons? Just like that. So we have a party going on. And then I have a... What do you call these things? Confetti? I'm just trying to pull out the ones that have matching colors. There's pink. I don't want pink. I can use a blue one. Orangey red. I think this is teal. I can't even tell if it's green or teal. Yeah, I flipped the page and there's a ton of big confetti here. Big, big confetti. So I'm gonna put one or two of these bigger ones on here because I lost those other ones. There we go, green. And a bigger orange one. Okay. I found a happy birthday in purple. And I think what I'm gonna do is just stick it in there. And then, do I want a couple little, like if I took, let's say this blue dot here, just put it in there. Okay, so I added in a few more confetti in here and I think I'm done. I love it, it is adorable. I think it's so cute. So we'll do our close-up look here. And if you are new to my channel, I do not always do spreads like this. Halloween in October is special. I like to go overboard, <laughs> as you can tell. So I do use a lot of different techniques and a lot of different products. And I do use the Happy Planner sticker books and the other company sticker books too. And I do the clustering and the layering. So check out my other videos and please subscribe. Please hit like and share with your friends. Pass my channel along to your Facebook groups and your planner groups. And thanks so much for joining me. Everybody have a wonderful day and happy Halloween.